Hi, this is Keith with another tutorial on the Behringer X32 Digital Audio Console. Today we're going to cover the Behringer S16 Digital Mic Snake. I'm just going to briefly show you how to, uh, how to hook it up and how to route it. Um, the routing here. Okay. Anyhow, uh, the console is hooked up to the S16 via an AS50 uh, protocol using a uh, Cat5 cable here. I'm plugging into the back here. You notice it's two actually uh, connections, an A and a B. And we're going to start with A. You have one, one box of A. In the case that you would have two of these X16s, you would come out of B and go back into um, the subsequent uh, snake boxes A. You don't go from B to B. You go from console A to box A, and from box B to the second box A. It's the end of my day here. So <laughs> I'm running a little hard. Okay. <laughs> How we would decide it is as follows. Physically, come over to the box, and you would push in the configure button, which already is assigned to channels one through eight. Um, let's see if we can get this with my other finger here. Probably not. <laughs> Jesus, I'm juggling. But as you can see, you get assigned to other other channels, other things. But we're just going to start with one through eight. Um, and what that will do is actually gives us channels 1 through 16, but it gives us the bus, the outputs 1 through 8. That's kind of how we have the 1 through 8 there. Okay, so physically, now it's hooked up, and what we need to do is route it. And going from the routing button, boom. We start first with the home. And we're going to, normally it would go to start out locally. This is the way you'd be able to plug in directly to the items in the back of the console. So this is by default set at local. And we will be uh, turning this knob until we hit the AES A, AES A, <laughs> one through eight to engage boom what that just did is it just uh, disengaged the uh, IOs in the back of the console and it now connected to the I to the uh, XLR inputs of the uh, s16 uh, now we go over to the output section for the uh, buses and the like and we scroll over again The AS50A because if had we used the um, ASB port on the back with the uh, Cat5, we would have used this guy, but we're on the ASA. And on the output, it's local. We're going to go down to out one through eight. Click, and now we're engaged. So in theory, <laughs> when I <laughs> bring the music up, there you go. So uh, let's say pull it out and plug it to channel two, which is the channel that I'm running the music into in the back of the console. And it shouldn't work anymore. Boom. Now I can Reverse the sequence. And going over to the home in routing and go up to local, spinning this knob up to local, and press. Boom, there you go. Now the IOs in the back of the console are hot. And as I can show you here, 
Let's go. Come on. I'm going to plug into this. It's S16. Come on, you. <laughs> there you go. Nothing. Again. Um, something else I found interesting is that um, when I change this, it doesn't affect the outputs, the hard uh, IOs on the back of the console on the output side. So, and that's, I could basically, when I'm using this snake box, I could use, say, say I'm using uh, output one uh, for uh, the main PA. And I also have output one here. So feasibly, I can take two lines, one coming out of the console with, with uh, bus one, and one from the snake with bus one. Um, although the channels, the input channels, uh, it's either or, either is local or from the S16. Uh, in the case of the outputs, um, it never disengages the back of the console. I was told you could soft patch to get around that, but I kind of like it. <laughs> I'm going to leave it like that. And that's basically it. This one's real dirty. Thank you and good night.